Here's how to remove rust from metal with a laser. I have the Xtool F1 Ultra, which has a 20 watt fiber laser, along with a 20 watt diode laser. We removed any muck off the metal, ready to remove the rust. It's the fiber laser we want to use today, and it's really easy to use with Xtool Creative Space, the free software that comes with the laser. I make a shape of the area where I want to remove the rust from. First of all I test it out on my saw. It's not overly rusty but has lots of little flecks of rust. Zooming in makes it really easy to adjust the shape. More tips on this in a little while if you have an unusual shaped rusty item. When testing this out for yourself the parameters to start with are fibre laser, 100 power and 2000 speed. 100 lines per centimetre and you can go 1, 2 or 3 passes to begin with. I love the design of the new Xtool F1 Ultra, it has a lovely touchscreen and button which makes it even easier to use. As I'm sure you can see something is starting to happen straight away. This Xtool F1 Ultra promises so many different aspects of lasering and I'll share more of these with you in my other videos. The laser beam is on its second pass now and as you can see this is really super quick. That's one fantastic aspect of this laser, the fibre lasers are really fast. I can see here the little flecks of rust have disappeared but we are left with all that surface pitting and the damage that the rust actually caused. This was just two passes so maybe more might improve it. If you have a different shape item you can use the pen tool and the nodes and you can draw your shape just like this. Really quick, simple and easy. Always remember to adjust the focus for each different piece that you use. Aligning the blue and the red dot is really easy with the buttons next to the touchscreen. Another really lovely feature about the Xtool F1 Ultra is the camera inside. It's fantastic and really enables us to get great results. Given this and lots of other great features, the F1 Ultra is definitely just not your ordinary fibre laser. These weren't too rusty to begin with, but a great example of the kind of item that you can remove rust from. So on to something else, which is absolutely caked with rust. I've had this horseshoe for as long as I can remember, and it's always been rusty. In the free software, Xtool Creative Space, take the pen tool and draw around the shape. Practice a few times if you've not done this before, but it's just like drawing in Adobe Illustrator and similar packages. Each of the node options do different functions and you can change these depending on the type of shape you want. Here I've clicked total asymmetry and I'm able to move both sides independently. Of course you can just draw one big rectangle over the top and do the whole thing. Don't put cardboard underneath like I did, I'll show you why later. Use a piece of metal instead. Doing exactly as I did before, 100% power, 2000 millimeters per second. I'll do three passes and 100 lines per centimeter. If you're familiar with all of this and have an Xtool F1 Ultra, please do add comments below and any suggestions, much appreciated. Also, if you're enjoying my videos, please give them a thumbs up. And there goes the fiber laser on my horseshoe. You can see it's starting to do some magic. As I said, I'm going to do three passes on this. So let's see it run its thing. Less than three minutes to do three passes. And it's slightly warm, not too warm. And you can see the color difference, you really can. So it has removed that rust. I'm pleased with that, I really am. I didn't expect so much to disappear after just three passes. As mentioned earlier, make sure you don't put any cardboard or anything flammable in the enclosure, otherwise this happens. Complete fail. I have this really heavily rusted and pitted metal, so I'm going to put that under and see what happens. With a long piece like this, just prop the other end up so it's nice and stable. And with something cylindrical like this, you just need to do a section, rotate it and repeat again. You can see the red rust is gone, but it's still quite pitted. With anything like this, make sure you have a good extraction as you don't want any of these fumes around. Any thoughts on this rust removal? Let me know below. Really happy with how the hammers turned out. You could definitely have a little business doing this. Xtool F1 Ultra is a fantastic machine. Links are below and check out the next video.